What up, everybody? It's Aaron with Robert, and this is Get Your Geek On's media review of What If... What If Ultron 1? Episode, episode 1. Episode 8. Uh, full spoilers. Uh, we are talking about the Disney Plus series What If animated, and um, I mean, this episode uh, was kind of what we had speculated yeah. we would get. Um, we, we talked last week that, you know, the Ultron wheel, you know, uh, wielding all the Infinity Stones showed up right at the yeah. end of last week's episode. And it was kind of like, okay, this is obviously the big bad and we're probably going to get his story next yeah. week. And that's what this is. Um, and so obviously the big difference that we see, the what if, is that uh, the Avengers were unable to steal the body that would become vision that was made out of vibranium and all of that stuff um and uh, you know turn it into vision and instead ultron was able to upload his consciousness into it uh, and evolve into that next version right. of himself which is very comics accurate ultron's always about evolving and mm -hmm. you know making his next body and all that stuff and so yeah once he had that body he basically became invincible he did. Um, he wiped out the Avengers. He went to, in the movie, in Age of Ultron, we know he was trying to get access to the nuclear codes. And it turned mm -hmm. out that Jarvis was in the code stopping him. Well, uh, obviously, with this new body, he went physically to the site, mm -hmm. wiped out the Avengers. Uh, we see, like, <clears throat> Thor and... Thor, Captain yeah, Shield. Thor, Thor uh, is laying there dead. Captain America's shield is broken. I don't know if we see his body, but he is clearly body. there. Um, yeah. And then Tony is there and is still alive and once again gets killed. Um, poor Tony, man. So that's four four episodes <laughs> four uh, of four. appearances for Tony Stark and four deaths. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, Ultron wipes him out, uh, wipes out the entire facility and launches the nukes. Um, mm -hmm. The Avengers that were there were not the only Avengers that was not their only plan right. to stop the missile launches the other plan was black widow and hawkeye in a quinjet going mm -hmm. to take out the satellite network because if they yep. could take out the satellite network then he couldn't launch all the nukes yep they obviously did not get there in time but mm -hmm. because of that they were not on earth when the ball all of went. all of the nukes went off um, and so they are our last two remaining survivors and this story kind of follows them um, yeah. and spider-man died they're uh attempt uh yeah. to you know kind of save this universe and as they're doing that uh ultron has uh you know brought peace to the earth in <laughs> his way terms to bring peace. <laughs> uh and uh somebody shows up captain marvel no oh. on earth captain universe <laughs> thanos <laughs> With the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, and, uh, yeah, Ultron quickly dispatches him, takes the Infinity Stones for himself, and then destroys, basically, the entire universe. Um, just goes planet to planet. We see lots of... We see lots of times he does take out Captain Marvel at one point. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when he finally has achieved his aims, the Watcher is telling us all about it, and Ultron becomes the second individual to... Yep become aware of the Watcher's existence after the uh, Doctor Strange version that we saw before. Well, he says, the Watcher does say he becomes omnipotent, right? Omnipotent. 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 I don't think he uses that word. I thought but, that's what he had said. But okay. he kind of, you know, obviously he is extremely powerful. Yeah. Uh, and so Ultron goes looking for him, finds him at the same time that Hawkeye and, and Black Widow are coming up with their plan, which is to yeah. actually use Arnim Zola's artificial intelligence who is <clears throat> off network it's in a closed mm -hmm. network um to use him to kind of infiltrate the ultron code and destroy it from within so these things are happening simultaneously um and right when we think that maybe they're going to succeed ultron breaks through the multiverse mm -hmm. and uh has a, a punch out oh my god <laughs> <with> the watcher <laughs> Um, which was entertaining. It was. I, I thought. It was um, different. But Hawkeye ends up having to sacrifice himself, very reminiscent of Endgame. 
Yeah. Um, and uh, so at the end of the episode, basically Black Widow uh, and Arnim Zola Ultron Bot oh, yeah. uh, are, uh, are, are alive in this universe, but um, without a way to connect to this, you know, the hive mind of Ultron who is... Uh, but we we'll talk about that. Well, point. at that point, at that point, he's kind of defeated Uatu, um, who has retreated to the Doctor Strange mm-hmm. uh, or Strange Supreme universe yeah. with just the two of them, and basically saying, "I need your help." Uh, and Ultron, meanwhile, is <laughs> about to wreak havoc on the multiverse. He is, and I still love, even though he's lost everything. Doctor Strange is still a dick. I want to hear you say it. I will say. Really. I, I was kind of actually turned off by that. I was a little upset. I'm like, I was dude, like you have nothing. He, he should be a little bit more contrite. Like, yeah. I understand he's probably taking a little bit of, like, savage pleasure mm-hmm. in this guy that denied him, you know, the assistance he needed now crawling to him for help. Like, I, yeah. I understand that. But it did feel like, shouldn't you, like, still be, like, I don't know how long you've been sitting yeah. there. After the destruction of your entire universe, that was your fault. Yeah. Um, but shouldn't you be <clears throat> feeling that still a little bit? I you don't would know. think. I mean, even if it's been a while, you should yeah. still be. He makes a comment that I've been sitting by myself there, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't like that, but so, it was interesting. Overall, overall, what did you think of the episode? Now that I've kind of um, recapped it a little bit. Overall, I I enjoyed it. Okay. But there were still parts I didn't like. There's okay. too many questions for me. Okay. Um. I'm going to comment on one that you've said before, which we talked about offline, the time stone. Right. Somehow Thanos has a time stone. Yeah. That's a little ups- weird. Yeah. It's, second- this is the second episode where he's shown up <clears throat> with the time stone. Yeah. Despite the fact that he... Never saw Strange. As soon as... As far as we understand, the time stone has always been on Earth mm-hmm. in the possession of the Sorcerer Supreme. And so the first time was the zombie episode mm-hmm. where he showed up and... As far as we knew, I mean, we saw Doctor Strange in that episode mm-hmm. as a zombie. Um, and so, yeah, the question was, how did Thanos get the Time Stone at that point? Mm-hmm. Um, and then in this one, this is before Doctor Strange would even be there. The Ancient One would have still had possession of it. Which so, would still be a powerful being to fight. Yeah, I mean, and, and you could say, um, you know, maybe all the sorcerers were wiped out by the... Uh, Ultrons. By, yeah, by Ultron and, and the weapons. And so maybe the Time Stone was somewhere else on Earth. Thanos showed up and grabbed that one and then, then went to Vision. But they didn't show it, no. obviously. So the question remains. Yeah. And then my my part with that scene, I get you had to get rid of Thanos quickly, but he was killed like a bitch. I'm going <laughs> to say that right there. Just... <laughs> I mean, it was cute. Like, I think you, you made the joke. You made the joke perfectly, perfectly balanced, balanced, as all things should be. Which was funny. Yeah. But again, Thanos isn't that much of a little bee. He, he well, can I mean, fight. so clearly, I mean, we know <clears throat> that the Mind Stone, which is in this body, mm-hmm. um, is you know perfectly capable of this type of destruction. It is right, and so we've seen that, um, and so. Obviously, he was very much caught by surprise in that moment, Maybe, which yeah. is really the only way you can explain it, because otherwise yeah. you're right. He shouldn't, like, because every other time we see him even get challenged a little bit, mm-hmm. um, you know, there's certainly resistance put up. I mean, we do see, like, Stormbreakers breaking through the power of the Infinity Gems and, mm-hmm. you know, like, is able to do that. So the Infinity Gems are not all powerful. <clears throat> not in the movies. Um, but yeah, Thanos. I mean, it was still obviously this is the story of we want we want to tell the Ultron yeah. as the ultimate villain, and we need to get him the stone somehow. This yeah. is the quickest way. Yep. My other thing is the Infinity Stones. We've seen them in the Loki series. Any and this is canon to the comics. Anything outside their own universe, do stones do not work? Okay. They seem to be working just fine as he's traveling through multiverses. And I'm like, I don't know how, I, how is it that mm. maybe they're not working because they weren't lit up, but the fact that he's traveling through all these different multiverses, well, they so, should not be working. So the only time we see him traveling to the multiverses with them is like when he's fighting the Watcher. Right. Because all the planets he destroys and all that, that's his own that's universe. That's his own universe, right? right. So he's using the powers there. He does fight the Watcher, um, and you would assume he's using 
He had to be using the, the stones. The one for his strength, because he the Watcher does put on like a celestial armor. Right. Which is one of the most powerful armors, yeah. period. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. And um, I want to comment in the comics, yeah. Tony's armor, like his best armor, still can't hold off a celestial. Right. So here's someone in celestial armor built from Tony's technology should still, I mean, he could hold his own a little bit, but eventually he would get overwhelmed because Tony yeah. got overwhelmed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, you know, it, it's an interesting point about the gems that I hadn't thought of um, because you're right. We did see in Loki, well, we saw that they didn't have power at the TVA. At the TVA, yes. That doesn't necessarily mean they didn't have power in other universes, multiverse, yeah. like in the multiverse. And so, then it goes yeah, to... It, it is a question. It because, to, co to comics, because comics, universe one doesn't well, work in universe two. Yeah, all. but even think about like the plot of Endgame. Mm -hmm. Technically, they were going to, even though it was moments in their past, those were different universes. Yeah. And so they were pulling with. the stones from there yeah. and using them in their own one. So, I mean, it... Yeah, it's, I think it's consistent, but I, it's an interesting question. Yeah, it makes me wonder still because that's not how they should they shouldn't play out that way. So I, I'm curious on that one. I mean, there was a couple of little things. I, you know, you made the comment yourself of Hawkeye missing his arm. It's kind of a throw to Oliver Queen missing a hand at yeah. one point. So it's like I don't remember any time Green he's arrow. ever missed an arm. Maybe he has, but I do like that we get one throwaway when he was, kills himself. Essentially, let's face it. Yeah. And, um, we, you know, we got the Hawkeye, the trailer for the Hawkeye show. And she comments, you have a more dangerous arrow than that little bomb one that she shot. And we see a more dangerous arrow in this episode. I loved yeah. it because it was like a nuclear blast when yeah. he destroyed all it of those old trauma. It was a nice explosion. And we saw, I, I did question, I'm like, how does he still have all this tech? The world exactly. has been destroyed. Like, where is he getting all of his arrows from? Uh, who's, who's where did they get his cloak that, you know. Dude, that was a cool cloak. That though. was super cool. Um, I love that scene. Yeah. So I, I mean, I, I will say, I, I really liked this episode. I thought, you know, this, it's been building to some sort of big bad, right? Um, for the whole season, it's been a little bit of up and down, rocky right. road. Some of the episodes have been That's really great. great. Some of them have been, meh. <laughs> um, and so I like that we finally got to the villain that we're going to have. Mm -hmm. I liked the. I liked that Ultron was very consistent with the Ultron we saw in the movies. Oh, he which really is, is. You know, basically like, I'm going to wipe out life because life is the thing that causes chaos and causes there to not be peace. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, like once he takes care of the Earth, it was it was a little bit weird to me that it took Thanos showing up for him to be like, oh, there's other worlds. And it's yeah, like, that was yeah, I think weird. you should know that, especially if Tony built you um, and especially your literal purpose was to be the armor around the world from another invasion. Which Tony already knew about the right. Tachari. Yeah. He, already, he assumes Asgard's another world, I'm sure. Well, he, like... even beyond all that, again, the purpose of Ultron was to protect from an alien invasion. Mm -hmm. So how could there be an alien invasion unless there's aliens? That's true. So yeah. it's one of those I things that Ultron should have already known there were other worlds. Now, maybe he didn't see a pathway to them until, mm -hmm. you know, Thanos showed up with the gems and he maybe. went, oh yeah, I can do this. Um, but it did kind of seem like that was like his moment of awareness, which felt wrong. That Yeah, I can um, see that. But <clears throat> other than that, I mean, I really, I thought the episode was a lot of fun. There were, I, I had that question about, you know, I, again, how did Thanos get the time stone? Yeah. But again, there is an explanation for it, whether it's a good one or not. They certainly didn't give it to us, so we have to come to our own conclusion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I thought... Uh, you know, Vision, um, Vision Ultron was just very, uh, you know, extremely menacing and thorough really and all was. that stuff. And it was, it was great. I liked seeing the dynamic of Black Widow and Hawkeye um, mm -hmm. as a team <clears throat> fighting together. Um, I liked the Watcher, especially in that scene mm -hmm. where they were going through the KGB archives and the Watcher's like, it's right there. Just, he, just he get wants it. to interfere like, so um, bad. And it was, it, it was really it was just kind of a fun scene and and even seeing because we've seen him comment in um like other episodes i think specifically in the zombie episode and i think also maybe in the um the avengers episode like he's really talked about how humanity always has that hope even mm. in the darkest of times even you know when it seems hopeless yeah you know humanity will will continue persevering and hoping 
Right. Um, and so to see Hawkeye really completely at his breaking point. I mean, he's lost his family. They've lost everyone. Right. Um, you know, that was uh, certainly interesting. And we know he's capable of going to that dark place because mm-hmm. we saw him doing that after the snap um, as Ronan. And so it was really interesting to kind of see him, you know, really lose that hope and for Black Widow to help him, you know, kind of rediscover it. But yeah. also he still was that underlying, like, no, I'm, I'm done, done fighting. fighting. Yeah. Um, you go on, you, you know, yeah. you do that. I loved her fighting with the Red Guardian shield. That, that was, was cool. That was cool. Um, yeah, the fight between Uatu and Ultron was, that was, the best fight, I was really cool. And I, I don't know that it makes any sense, but I like that as he was punching him, like different multiverses were popping up. Yeah, that was, was like, weird. But... Again, I, it was just cool, so I yeah. didn't really care. Like there was one where they went to, you know, and Steve Rogers is getting sworn in as president, which is like mm. a callback. Yeah. Um, to a moment in the comics where he refuses to be president. Mm-hmm. Um, so I mean, in, in this universe, you know, in that particular one, he decided to to accept. And then, uh, you know, like they went to like there was like a medieval one. There was one yeah. with the scrolls. There was one like it was just like it, it was it was cool. It does follow kind of the comics because in the comics, uh, fear itself, I believe it's called the storyline. Utawu dies. They kill mm-hmm. the Watcher, and his eye essentially falls to earth and shatters but it spills all the secrets that he knows mm, so everybody learns what's really going on so i guess that makes sense that hmm. maybe hitting him does affect the time stream or the okay. multiverse because like well, that's how spider-man learns about silk and that there was another spider when he was created too like all these little secrets because watcher saw it all he knows right, it all right so it was interesting so i guess that's where they they played off of that which was a good play i really yeah. did enjoy that i really think this was a solid episode overall. I think yeah. the fight the fight scenes really sold it for me. The cloak in the very beginning where mm-hmm. they're timing, like, okay, we got 30, 90 seconds to kill all these Ultron bots. Right. The cloak, how he fights, and it, it was really a good a good action episode. Now, they haven't released the name of the last episode yet, have they? I don't I didn't see it. Not that I'm aware of, um, but clearly, you know, the, the way the episode ends, it ends with Uatu teaming up with, you know, strange. Sorcerer Supreme Strange. Mm-hmm. Um, Evil and Ultron is hanging out in Uatu's place, basically mm-hmm. getting ready to invade different multiverses. We already yep. saw him invade Thor's at the end of last episode. Yeah. Um, so clearly, the last episode, I don't know if it's going to be a bigger episode than usual or if they're going to streamline it, but they they've got to get the it. team together. Um, and so we, I think, I want to go episode by episode. Okay. So episode one, we're getting Captain Carter. Yep, right? I agree. Episode two, we're pulling T'Challa. Clearly. Yeah. Clearly. Um, now, uh, should they also pull someone like Thanos? Probably. But they're probably just going to pull mm, T'Challa. Yeah, probably just T'Challa. Um, episode three is the Avengers one, where at the end of that episode, we had Nick Fury, Captain Marvel, and an about-to-be-unfrozen Captain America. Yeah. So, in my mind, you're probably taking Captain Marvel from there? Out of those three? To me, they've been so focused on Marvel, throughout the Captain Marvel, throughout all of these, yes, they're yeah. going to pick her. That's who I would guess. Episode four is the Strange Supreme one, so mm-hmm. we so know we that's who we Strange. got. Episode five is the zombie one, which at the end of that one we had one-legged T'Challa, we had uh, Ant-Man, Head, and, Man. and then we had Spider-Man. Spider-Man. So, so it's got to be Spidey. I'm guessing we're getting Spidey. That has to be Spidey. Um, that would make sense. Episode six was the Killmonger one, um, yeah. which I think we're going to get Killmonger. I think that's I don't think we're going to get Killmonger. I think based on... Based on what what we've seen in the promo <clears throat> material, I think there has been images that look like him mm-hmm. fighting alongside this team. I wonder if he's going to be in a secondary bad guy, though. Yeah, I don't know. But I think that's who we're pulling, because okay. I'm not sure who else you would pull from that universe um, based on the characters they gave us in the episode. Well, you still got Rhodey. Oh, no, Rhodey died. I forgot. Rhodey Shoot. definitely died. So, I mean, I think... Again, based and on the characters, in, there even. based on the characters in that episode that we saw, yeah, I think it, it would have to be Killmonger. It has to um, be right, unless you're going to pull Shuri. But Killmonger just got the the Panther serum, mm-hmm. so that's who you're going to pull. You're yeah, going to pull the powerful sense. people. Makes sense. Okay. Um, and then episode seven is the Thor episode, so we're probably, we've seen Thor. Yeah, we've Dr. seen Strange him. So preview. we're going to get you know party Thor. Yeah. Um, so that's a pretty powerful team. That really is. Um, and then in this episode, I think we're 
obviously we're gonna get Black Widow. Right. Um, so actually, I don't think we're gonna get her on the team. I think we will. I think well, I think she's gonna have a secondary objective. She's gonna be doing stuff on her own, and then run into the team and be like, well, "Wait." Well, I think she's got the ultimate solution, because the ultimate she solution might, yeah. is. I think, at least the way they set it up, it's going See, to be Zola. And here's my thing. I like the idea of it being Zola mm -hmm. and how they were trying to do it. But aren't we just trading one bad guy out for another bad guy? That's all we're doing. Yes. So what do you do when he's now a but I will say all powerful that being? Even in Captain America, the first Avenger, mm -hmm. Zola did always seem a little bit uncomfortable with the destruction portion okay. of the plan. Yeah, I think he's fully on board with the I want to be in control plan, mm -hmm. but I don't know that he would necessarily be in favor of let's destroy all life. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, you've got one that would say let's destroy all life, and you've got one that says I'm going to be a bad guy who wants to control all life. I think in the yeah. two, this is a literal case of the lesser of two yeah. evils. <laughs> I can give you that. I mean, it is true. I mean, I guess you also hope that he doesn't know quickly how to use the body. You can just kill him right afterwards if you need to, I guess. I, yeah, I mean... Because it's going to take him a little bit to understand everything, I'm sure. Who knows? And so I want to I want to say... Yeah. I think the title of the next episode is going to be Guardians of the Multiverse. I think that's what it's going to be. Well, I mean, it's got to be I'm What If. Because well, all if of them have been Guardians What If. Guardians of the Multiverse. So it's... Yeah, I, I think it's going to be... You know, but see, we still haven't seen Gamora. And we've seen screenshots of her in the trailer. Holding the Thanos weapon. Yeah. Which so is where super is she cool. going to come from? Um, well, and and that's something that, again, we don't know. So, uh, See, and I'm also wondering if he's not going to pick anybody from these except Doctor Strange. And he's going to go to other universes that we haven't seen yet and pick people from there. No. Um, you don't think so? The reason I don't think so is we've okay. seen in promo material, we've seen uh, Strange Supreme interacting with Captain Carter. Okay. That's in there. We've seen the circular picture, which included a T'Challa Star-Lord. Mm -hmm. It included um, I, a Black Widow. Okay. She was in that circle. Um, it included a Black Panther, who I mm -hmm. speculated at the time was Killmonger, yeah. um, which I think now we know we that confirm, that's probably yeah. true. Okay. Um, it also included the Gamora that we haven't seen yet. So yeah. I don't know where she's going to come from, if she's from one of these previous universes or if it's going to be from a new one. Probably the one that Ultron is currently invading. Like, yeah. that's my guess, is they're going to go to, you know, confront him, and that's where the Gamora is going Maybe. to be present. That makes sense. Um, Maybe so, he's going to go to T'Challa's Star-Lord universe, and we'll get Gamora that way somehow. It could be. I mean, we, we know in that universe that the, uh, who is it, the Collector kind mm -hmm. of filled the void of Thanos. Yeah. But we didn't see Gamora. Um, we never saw her, but, and she's still a daughter of Thanos. Yeah, I mean, we don't know if she uh, broke bad a little bit yeah. in that universe, because we that's that's one of the really interesting things up to this point, is we've seen like Nebula three or four times. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen Thanos three or four times. Mm -hmm. And we haven't seen Gamora yet, but we know she's coming. Yeah. Um, so that's really interesting, because most of the characters have been kind of reused. Yeah. Um, like we've gotten T'Challa several times. We've Howard gotten, the Duck even. <laughs> we've gotten Howard the Duck a few times. We've gotten... Uh, you know, uh, who is it? Uh, Captain Marvel yeah. several times. Several times. Um, Iron, Iron Man uh, several times. Yeah. Thor we really only got in the one the party one, yeah. Thor episode. Um, but yeah, a lot of these characters we've seen over and over again. Yeah. Um, and yet someone like Gamora, who we think is going to play a pretty pivotal role, is not. We haven't around. seen her yet. So yeah. that's interesting. It'll be interesting. I'll be. I really will be curious on how they play all this out. So on that note, though, let us know down below what you thought of the episode, where you have everything ranked. I want to know also, are you excited for the big fight in this last episode? I'm curious how it's going to play out. I mean, I, we know they're going to win, but what how if many? Ultron destroys the multiverse and the MCU ends next <laughs> next Wednesday? <laughs> That's just the what if end. <laughs> they what? they cancel the Eternals. They cancel the Hawkeye <laughs> show. They can't. No X Men, Fantastic Four. Nope. None of it's coming. This is how they were. We finishing cast up the Blade, but it, we're not making that movie anymore. The multiverse nope. ends. It's all done. It's all done. Like, Marvel <laughs> tapped out here. They just they they were done. Kevin Feige goes to take over Star Wars, and we never hear about Marvel <laughs> ever again. <laughs> and then somehow he ends up over in Star Wars, and Star Wars ends too. And it's like, oh. 
Don't so, you don't need to bring us down to that level. Hey, it's Jeez. Ultron. I mean, come on. If he's going to blow up anything, you'd always go look at that universe and be like, man, this is, this is just messed up. <laughs> it's even worse than all the other crap I blew up. You guys had three Death Stars even. Like, come on. Yeah, way too many. So on that note, guys, let us know again down below. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, everywhere at OfficialGYGO. On that note, I'm Aaron. That's Robert. And get your geek on, guys. Bye.